Hi everyone and welcome to a very wet and windy Big Augie Gulf. Uh, what's been happening? Well, been a difficult couple of weeks. Uh, I was due to go and play at the UK Corporate Golf Championship and uh, I wasn't able to. I was also due to play a whole series of uh, matches with some friends of mine who we're going to see in a second. Uh, but unfortunately I wasn't able to play and the reason was that I, uh, if you remember the, one of the last videos, I damaged my back a little bit and it just seemed to get progressively worse to the point where I have literally been stuck flat on my back for nearly two weeks. Uh, I've just managed to drive today to West Cornwall Golf Club, which is where we are, which is my home course, and uh, just the first time I managed to drive anywhere, so half an hour drive, that's enough for me today. Uh, I'd hope to get here and maybe even swing a couple of clubs, but I don't think that's going to be an option for me still. Uh, but at least I managed to catch up with my friends. They've got to play the 17th, which and we're on the 17th, near the 17th green now, and the 18th. Uh, I had to have a hospital appointment with my wife today, uh, so I wasn't able to come down and uh, sort out things with them. So, uh, and play, obviously, and I wasn't able to play. So this is a very quick video just to let you know what's been going on, or what's not been going on. Uh, Matt has been on a course, the professor, he's been on a course, and uh, with England Golf. So again, I'm glad to see him. But there are lots of things happening. Uh, there really, really is. I've got a fantastic competition, the best competition I've ever put together. And it's taken a while to organise, and I'm sorry it was the 2,000 subscriber competition, but it's, it's ready now. Just had the last details agreed. So I'm going to start making the video, hopefully Monday, Monday or Tuesday, when it's all put together, you'll have a fantastic competition to take part in. Uh, oh, I'm in pain. Uh, I've taken naproxen and various other painkillers. And... Uh, my body is telling me I need to get fitter, which is fair enough. Uh, also got uh, a new driver, I've got a new club. If you've uh, seen my Instagram posts, I've got a new Titleist TS1, which I ordered from Titleist and it's all been set up for me and that's just fantastic. Uh, but it's sitting in a plastic bag in my house and I'm not able to swing it yet. So that'll be interesting. Uh, maybe we'll do a video and test it out against my old 917 D2, just to see what happens. Um, after that, I'm gonna speak with Matt. Got to speak with Simon Parks, my good friend who I play, uh, would have played with the UK Corporate Golf Championship with. Got lots of ideas for the channel. Going to do a little bit of a revamp of the channel. Been coming up with lots of ideas for both the Oggy House and for the Big Oggy Golf, Golf Channel. So uh, we do some collaborations between the two. Hopefully it'll be really good and you'll really enjoy it. But today, let's uh, hopefully watch my friends play the 18th. Uh, you'll know these gentlemen because, oh, it's getting really windy again. Uh, they have played on various films of, on my channel over the last couple of years, always around October. Victor and Tony uh, are based in London. Chris, Chris Hardy, is, comes from London, but he's based in Florida. He was a gentleman who went and played uh, golf with Matt and his family when Matt went over to Florida recently. Uh, and I was going to play them uh, at Mullion this week, Newquay this week, and West Cornwall this week, and I'm not there to play anybody. So. We'll get you, uh, you know, at least one hole on camera because they're nearly finishing. Um, that's all I can get you for now. But next week, like I said, brilliant, brilliant competition. Don't want to tell you much about it yet, but it's really, really worth subscribing and being part of the subscriber and being part of the crew on Big Oggy Golf. Get your friends to join in. Get your friends to come and be part of the crew as well. You'll love it. I really promise you it's the best competition I have ever managed to put together. Let's go and watch some golf. Oh, amazing tip from Chris. That's, <laughs> I hope I really hope I've got that on camera. I think so, yeah, I think we've got that on camera, mate. I'll do my best anyway. Uh, hopefully we've got that. This is the 17th green at West Cornwall. Uh, it's a par three and I think Chris has just chipped in for a birdie. Fantastic, mate. I was only doing a video of the view. Now I've got a video of the fantastic shot as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> So here come the other gentlemen, Victor and Tony, on the way up. I did meet them on the 15th, but they got absolutely drenched and so did I. I am uh, saturated at this moment. I sat back in the car and managed to put the heat in on like full blast to dry out a bit. So I've managed to find you on the 17th. Well done, Chris. Thank you very much, yeah. Nice to see you again, my friend. It's a tough hole in this wind. Oh, I think it's been a tough day with the strong winds. You were saying it had strong winds today. And 
Yeah, it's a bit breezy. A bit breezy. It's always a bit breezy here, we know that. Oh, we won we have one lost soul. Okay. How many balls have we lost today then, Chris, you reckon? As a, as a collective. I have lost one. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, old West Corum, I have to say. Victor's a few. Victor's a few. Okay. I'm dead man I think you are. I think you are. Oh well. <laughs> Right then Chris, so we're on the 18th at West Cornwall, uh, it's 385 yards, you can walk back towards where ball is if you like, you're playing off the yellows which is only just down from the whites anyway, have fun, it's pretty much straight downhill, this is kind of really enticing this one, I, I actually love this hole, the thing is I tend to slice it then badly up onto the road on the right, well you do, you get carried away don't you, you love it, you see the shot and you think, oh, easy. Uh, that's fine. A little, little bit left. There is some quite nasty stuff on that left if you don't wash out, but you should be okay there, Chris. Lovely. Well done, mate. Who's next? Say your name, please, for the camera. Hi, it's Victor. Hi. Good, good to see you, Augie. Uh, good to see you too, my friend. Nice to get back to this Cornwall, your local course. We're not going to discuss your handicap because he probably made it up. <laughs> I'm making up all the time. No, oh, that's fine. That's a giant wedge. Hang on, I'll, no. I'll lift it up that far. There you go. I'll roll down the hill. That'll be lovely. Nothing wrong with that, my friend. Thank you. And last but certainly not least. Tambo from <laughs> London. <laughs> we have Tony from London. Before you swing, just tell everybody how old you are, Tony. Um, I'm six. Truth, tr truthfully. Truthfully. <laughs> Yes, older than the woman you feel. Yeah, he's definitely a year older than when I last saw him. Shot his age on the front line. <laughs> Lovely. That's all right. There are people that keep saying I should paint here and I will I will organise a couple of paintings here. I'm doing one at Pebble Beach at the moment, just started that. Um, and then we'll do a couple of West Cornwall as well. So it'll be nice to get some golf paintings done over the winter. I mean, that's the next plan anyway. So, stop distracting. Where are we? Uh, I've got 234 yards. Yeah, you got about 230 yards, but actually that's not too bad. I know it's a bit wet today. Normally on a dry condition, we hit a five iron down there and let it roll and roll and roll. Yeah. But um, We'll see how you go. Could hold up at the bottom. No, that's all right. That's very good. I'll do nicely. It's rough. rough yes, yeah, light rough. That's okay. No, no problems on there. The big bunkers on the other side. Right. So, over here, we have. He's looking like a lost soul again. I'm, sh I'm sure we'll find the ball, it's not a problem, we'll have a look. Okay, so I'm glad I had some use today, I might not be able to swing a club, but I did find your ball for you. Yeah, you yeah. thank you, I know, I should, I should have done the whole 18 for you, I could have been your spotter, you wouldn't have, wouldn't have lost a ball the whole way. So you still got a long way to go. Just get it down that fairway, mate, get it off this light rough, otherwise you'll never get anywhere. Uh, that, that is the weird stuff about this, this place. It just grips the ball and don't let you go. Try again. Yeah, just straight down, mate. Oh. 
Yeah. Bunker's on the right if you hit it well. So, but so kind of aim for that yellow stick in the middle, and actually keep you rolling that way. Take your time. That's fine. And a nice little shout. That's fine. That'll be safe enough. They ain't gonna see that. Well done, mate. Right, well, Chris, where are you? Well, you, you got away with it a little bit because you're not quite in the thickest stuff. You're all right. Uh, bunkers on right and left. I say, kind of aim to the left of the bunker on the right, and it'll roll round. Yeah, hit it towards the actual. That's the ladies' pavilion, my friend. Yeah. That's coming around nicely, I reckon. Good shot, it's just going to just can't hold up on that. Yeah, I just think it's a little bit wet today. It would have been perfect on a decent day. Perfect it would have been. Well done, it's a great shot. So as we continue, Victor and Tony are fairly close together, but one of them is on the fairway. Well done. Ladies Pavilion. Yeah, aim for the Pavilion, doing fine. No, oh, that might be all right. Oh, and kick left. Oh, that's not kicking left. Oh, oh it, it, well, it avoided the bunker. Avoided the greenkeeper. That, that's got to be a double win in my book. But I'm going to stroll down very slowly. I'm not as, not as mobile as I should be. But I would say that Victor has got a good line in from here. Could have a very good shot here, mate. Come on, you can do this. I'm very confident in you. I've not seen you play all week, but I'm sure you've been brilliant. Oh, hang on. I'm afraid that's in the bunker, mate. That's, you've been watching too many of my videos. That's what I do. I aim too far right, hit them straight. They go in the bunker. <laughs> You just wanted to show off your bunker skills on my camera, didn't you? Go on, it'll be fine. Let's come around and have a look. Yeah, I'd say a little bit left. What do I know? He thinks I know about this course. <laughs> Dead straight. No, I'd, I would have definitely said it was a slight right to left there as well. So, good pace though, Chris. Oh, look, Chris, you had a brilliant shot at the last hole, so you, you know, it happens. Hopefully, I got it on camera. But let Chris have that. You were told you were lagged out anyway, didn't you? So you were just basically knocking it back to pick it up. Scott Redman. Oh, Scott Redman stuff as well. Well done. Because I do like a bit of promotion for Scott. I like a bit of promotion for Scott Redman. Nothing wrong. Lovely man. Lovely people. Oh, they're playing friendly. Why not? Well done, mate. <laughs> well done. Because wow. that's what it's about in the end. In the end, it's, if you think about it, it's the guy from Cornwall, fat bloke from Cornwall on camera, lovely man now from Florida, two people Thank you, based in London. Thanks for taking 
Come on. And we're all just playing in Cornwall. I mean, this is just, this is golf with friends. This is what it's supposed to be about. Um, there will be a discussion in the bar about who wins and who doesn't. I dare say, normally is. Six who, pounds in the pot each. Yeah, who's been doing well so far? They've been winning over the various well, no, comps. He's probably just ahead with his handicap. His massive handicap. But it's close. It's close. Only spreads around. And tomorrow you're uh, you're in Devon tomorrow. Raw North Devon. Raw North Devon Always sounds classy. In I know, it'd be lovely, it'd be absolutely lovely. No. I just I wish I'd been well enough to play this week. I really do. I'm really sorry, gentlemen. I just couldn't do it. Just, you know, just, just life, you know. <laughs> well, I blooming hope so, but that way I, I, I intend to play as many of the whole ones as possible next time. So let's go and get in the bar and get in the dry, shall we?